Um, so we've been in Denang for one month and maybe a little bit more and we haven't recorded almost anything. I mean, Leo are gonna kind of show you what we do in a day. So we will show you what we do. Yeah. So we're gonna go eat something real quick. One of our favorite places to eat. Uh, oh yeah. It's, uh, ban mi, but okay. it's different than every other ban mi I had. <laughs> Drink. I speak I speak Vietnamese with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> you do this every single day. Yeah. How much does it cost? Ten thousand for one of these. So how much? Ten thousand. Ten thousand. So it's less than fifty cents. Not to mention this bread is literally baked right there. So in a moment, when he gets done eating his food, we're gonna go get my food. My food is called uh, Mi Nguang Noodle. And it's delicious. It's beef noodles with vegetables. And I get mine with a spring roll, and it is 32,000 Vietnamese dong, and it is delicious. So that's about a dollar and 70 cents, I would say. Uh, so you'll get to see what that is in a moment. to the place that I want to eat the noodles. It's called Mi Guang. And I think that, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that last word, but I think you can pronounce it bitch. No, God, please, no! <laughs> Can't wait. Beef, uh, shallots, nuts. Broth, noodles, vegetable, all for 32,000 Vietnamese dough. This spring roll is the best spring roll I have ever had in my entire life. And I don't know what's in it. What the fuck?
everybody. So our plans right now are to go to the beach. Ah! The beach is really nice in Da Nang. And uh, you don't have to pay anything to go, obviously, because the beach is free. Should be. And uh, this is my friend Lynn. Enjoy the beach. <laughs> Not the beach, but the beach. <laughs> <laughs> So you got your surfboard? Yep. How much did it cost? Too much. How much? Oh, 250,000 baht. I mean, dongs. <laughs> uh, that's like 11, $10, $11. For two hours? Yeah, basically I have a two hours and a half. But he said, count it as it, as it is 11 right now, but it's barely 10.30. So. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, so we are at the bus station and uh, we're gonna leave in <laughs> basically 45 minutes. And our friends came with us to say goodbye. And it's really hard this time because we stayed so long and made so many friends. This is our friend Lynn. Hi, come to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, actually, I'm really sad when you guys leave, but I hope you guys have a good journey, like in Mune, and when you go back to America, try to save money and come back here again. I will adopt you guys. Oh, you guys can adopt me. I will be your adopted daughter. <laughs> How do you feel about what she said? Uh, I think Lynn is full of shit. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Fuck you. Too. <laughs> We're really, really gonna miss this place. If you are going to Vietnam and you see Da Nang and you think, oh, there's nothing there, trust me, you are absolutely wrong. This city is huge. There's so many things that you can do, and there's awesome people that you can meet. I'm single, by the way. <laughs> 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 oh. and they literally dropped us off in the middle of nowhere literally uh, had to walk so far dude I'm so tired my back hurts finally found the bus stop after using Google Translate like five times so we're finally waiting for the right bus to get on Exhausted. How do you feel? Tired,
four-wheeler. It's uh, 600,000 dong for a 400cc four-wheeler and 400 and 400,000 for a 250cc four-wheeler. Like a 400,000 dong for which one? No what? Well, that was a fail. We've rode four-wheelers before. We know how many people fit on one. They don't want to sell it to us even though it says it up there. So if you want to come do this, you can only buy the most expensive one. If you have two people. If you have two people. So enjoy walking. So do we have a story for you? So <laughs> we went to the white sand dunes and we were on our way back and we passed like two couples on motorbikes and they were foreigners and we come upon some police officers and they stop us. They let one person go who had an international license and they kept us and kept the other two people. We have been at the police station for four hours. They wouldn't take money. They, the other couple and uh, some other people that they picked up, the police officers picked up, both of them had international driver's license, but they still kept their motorbikes. So everybody's motorbike got kept. Everybody got their motorbikes kept. Basically, the police officers are stealing them. They don't want to take your money. They don't want you to sign the paper so that they can get money and keep the bike for a week. They don't want to accept your international driver's license. So, it's been like this whole big show, this big game for these police officers, acting like it's so funny for them, laughing at us. <sighs> so, it sucks. Because we rented our bike from the homestay that we're staying in. And now she has to deal with getting her bike back from these corrupted police officers. And this is in uh, Moine, mind you. They basically just want to fucking steal from foreigners, thinking that we're just made of money. A lot of the stuff the police officers said made absolutely no sense. So, if you're gonna come here, don't rent a motorbike. Don't even try and hitchhike. They will try and take your money. Even hitchhiking. You go to the gas station, you tell them you want 50,000, they'll give you 5,000 worth of gas and, and lie and say that they gave you 50,000. Whatever you do, just be cautious. So now we have to walk. Who knows? It says five hours, but I'm not walking five hours back to my home today. But that is our experience for the past four hours. <laughs>